this is lesson 6.8, powers of signed numbers. So we have worked with exponents, and this is just a reminder of some terminology and working with powers of numbers. So the large, the number written here, this will be, this is called the base. And when you see a number written above in a small superscript, this is called the exponent. So we would say three to the fourth power equals 81. So 81 can also be said is the fourth power of three. Some examples of powers of signed numbers. You guys have been working with exponents for quite a while now, and now we're going to apply that knowledge to signed numbers. But as a review, two cubed or two to the third power is the same thing as two times two times two. Do not multiply two times three, which is six. It's, that is not the same thing as two cubed. Four squared or four to the second power is the same thing as four times four, and that equals 16. Now, when we have a negative number, and you can see this negative three is in parentheses, and we have negative three squared. Our exponent two is applied to everything in the parentheses, including the negative sign. So this is the same thing as negative three times negative three. We know that three times three is nine, and we apply the rules to multiplication and sign numbers. So two negative negatives multiplied together is a positive. So the answer is a positive nine. This is negative one to the fourth power. This is the same thing as negative one times negative one times negative one times negative one. Remember, this exponent on the outside of the parentheses applies to everything inside of the parentheses, including the sign. So that is why we multiply the negative one four times. One times one times one times one is one. When we multiply a negative and a negative, that is a positive. A positive times a negative is a negative, but then a negative times a negative again is positive. So my answer is positive one. So here's a rule of thumb. An even power of a negative number is positive and an odd power of a negative number is negative. So let's apply that rule. So we have negative two cubed, and this applies to everything on the inside. This is negative two times negative two times negative two. Two times two times two is eight. So if I have a negative times a negative, that's a positive but then I have this other negative that I'm multiplying. So a positive times a negative is a negative. So I have negative one times five. That's negative one times negative one times negative one times negative one times negative one and one times one times one times one times one times one is one. And then when I apply the, ne the negative signs, negative times a negative is a positive, positive times a negative is negative, and then negative times negative is positive, but then I'm, at, I'm multiplying one less negative to make this a negative number. So this is negative one. So here I have a fraction two thirds squared. So I'm going to treat the numerator and denominator um, individually. So this is two-thirds times two-thirds. Two times two is four and three times three is nine. So two-thirds squared 
his four nights. A word of caution. A common error is to think that expressions such as negative six squared is the same as this right here, okay? The exponent sign to when a number is in parentheses applies to everything that is inside the parentheses. But when dealing with a number such as negative six squared, this exponent only applies to the digit, not to the sign. So for example, we have negative six squared that's not in parentheses. So it's, a, it's applying just to the six. We multiply the six times six with the sign on the outside of the parentheses and the answer is negative 36. Okay, when I multiply negative six in parentheses squared, that is negative six times negative six, which equals a positive 36. So these two are not the same. Be sure to recognize when you are working with parentheses and exponents. So let's, let's do some examples. Negative five squared. So remember this two applies to everything in the parentheses. That is gonna be negative five times negative five. So we know that five times five is 25 and a negative times a negative is a positive, so my answer is 25. Now here I have negative five squared. This two only applies to the base, so I'm gonna put on the outside of my parentheses five times five, and this equals 25, and then I apply the sign, the negative sign, my answer is negative 25. So now I have a negative, negative five squared. So this is what this means. I'm gonna put this additional minus sign outside of the parentheses. I've got minus five times minus five. So five times five is 25. A negative times a negative is a positive but then I still have this negative here that I need to apply. My answer is negative 25. Here I have a minus negative two to the third power. So here's my negative sign, negative two times negative two times negative two. Two times two times two is eight. So I have three um, minus signs. So that means I have a negative eight. But then I have to remember that I have this minus sign in front. So a negative times a negative is a positive. My answer is a positive eight. Okay, our last rule. Powers of zero. Zero as an exponent when any real number other than zero is raised to the zero power, we get one, no matter what number it is, okay? Even if it is a negative number. For example, if we have two to the zero power, it equals one. If we have 10 to the zero power, it equals one. And if we have a negative number such as negative five to the zero power, that two equals one. Good luck on your homework and let me know how I can help you. Have a great day.